Hey, hey, I'm back out here with the Revolution Blast. I'm having so much fun with this kite, man. It's so, it's, sim it's so similar, but at the same time, there's so much about it that is so different, especially that. Like with this kite, I think what defines it is how, how it flies sideways. Like the other models can't do this, not like that. And the same way, these wide sweeping circular turns, the, that's really difficult to do on the, on the other revs I've got. It's, and, but with this one, it's like, it wants to do it. It's like you pull the handle and get it going in that direction and, and it naturally wants to do that circular movement. And it lets you come up with these with really interesting patterns. And downwards as well. And here, straight back up. It pulls pretty hard as well when it's ready. See like there? That's what I wasn't sure about. I really didn't... I wasn't convinced that I'd enjoy a kite that pulls like this. Because the vented models that I fly are really light on the hands. And they feel... They feel like everything you do. Like, even these tiny little movements. It has a big, it has a big impact on the kite. But with this one, this one's so much... Uh, how can you put it? It's, it's more deliberate. You can really yank this kite about and it's happy to just do what you ask it to do. But yeah, regarding the pull, it's like when it's going fast, it pulls. But when it's going slow like this, or when you stop moving, it feels like, um, it feels no different to the other Revolution models. It feels like I'm flying a double X right now. But yeah, it's just like, same but different. And those differences are stark enough to, uh, to warrant you coming up with whole new patterns when you fly this thing. Yeah, pleasantly surprised. I really, really like this kite. It's already my favorite rev for, um, for light winds. I'm having so much more fun than I have with my with my double X. That sideways motion just makes things so interesting, like. Yeah, you see, like there's hardly any wind right now, right? And I can actually still jump the kite all the way, all the way up to the top of the window, sideways. The other models just don't do that. And when you put it above your head, it will go straight behind you. Like, it does not stop. I don't know if you can see it on the camera because of the, the way it's mounted. But, like, if you go above your head, it doesn't stop. It just keeps going. You have to, you have to make a conscious decision to stop the kite. Otherwise, it will just keep going. And eventually, it will, it will start to float and then stall. But, yeah, when, the, when it bites in, there's a certain angle. There's a certain angle you can fly at. And it causes it to really bite in and accelerate. Yeah, the kite feels like it's on rails when, it, when, that, when that kicks in. And it's like, it's a really satisfying feeling. Oh, wind's picking up now. Slide it straight back up. Get back down. What I want, I want that, I want that wide sweeping turn to be segmented. So like little, Little 45 degree turns as I go. Oh, that was the other thing with this kite as well. Like these slides near the ground, I barely have to do any inputs. Like it just, it just does it. Yeah, it's crazy stable, this kite. And he just do these big, wide sweeping turns. 
that round the other way. Oh, see that's that's the other thing. I normally fly on 50 foot lines. I prefer shorter lines. But after flying this for a while, and I'm on 50 foot lines for this video right now, just because the kite looks better on the video. But like, I understand why they ship this with 80 foot lines. It's like, it takes, it takes a second or two to cross the window. So you, you absolutely dominate the, the window on um, 50 foot lines and you don't quite have enough room to do the, the big moves that this kite likes to do. When I first flew it, this, uh, this dive stop actually uh, <laughs> made me a little nervous, like, because the kite suddenly yanks you forward when you dive stop, and if you're not ready for it, you will, <laughs> you, you'll know about it. Wow, let me see if I can do a dive stop. Man, it pulled so hard when I did that. Let's see. What? That's insane, but yeah. Yeah, I'm ready for the dive stops, stops now. You just need to brace yourself for it and it's, it's totally manageable. Oh yeah. Still not quite used to the reverse. It reverses very well, but it feels different to the um, it feels different to the spiders I'm used to. Um, I used to flying. It still has that. You know, like when you fly forward, it's got this sweet spot here, and it starts to pull. It does that in reverse as well. There it is. It's about developing the muscle memory and learning exactly where that point is. Because as soon as you catch that point in reverse, it's so smooth. But yeah, with this kite, when I ordered it, like I was saying, I was nervous because I really didn't think, I really wasn't convinced I'd enjoy it. But now I'm so happy I bought this thing, man. I love this kite. It's so different to the spiders. Like I can't stress that enough, but even though I love the way those kites fly, this one is mad fun. I can see myself changing the way I fly to suit this. All right. I think I'm done for today. I'll see you guys next time. And to everybody who's commented and subscribed and everything, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I love reading your stuff and like, yeah, just uh, keep flying and I'll check you next time. Peace.